definitely exposed out here. Without the cover of the jungle. Use herd water ammo to my advantage. Going down! There's Fall's Edge. Decca should be waiting for me in there. Hey. May you crush 
your enemies. Telling the truth. Listen to him, Aroke. Deca, what's going on? Aloy, I'm glad you're here. This is Aroke, leader of Fall's Edge. So you've enlisted the Chief's champion in your dull-bladed efforts. You must be Cavo, then. My grandson. And a soldier trying to right his mistakes. Or trying to lure us into a trap. My scouts caught him, sneaking around on the outskirts of the village. I wasn't sneaking around. I was coming to warn you. The rebels are planning an attack. They're going to send a machine straight through this village. I left my post when I realized what they were planning. You have to believe me. Where are the rebels now? They were hunting for the machine north of here. I, I can show you the way. The only thing you'll do is face trial by combat. You betrayed your clan, your chief. Blood and blades will decide your fate. I'll fight whoever you want, after we stop the attack. Why destroy this village? I thought Regala's fight was with Hikaro. Hikaro was a lowlander before he was chief. Unlike the Desert and Sky clans, we stand behind him without question. Fall's Edge is a strategic midpoint between the Grove and our capital on the coast. It's true. Our orders were to cut off Hikaro's support from the Lowland Clan. But I thought that meant disrupting supply routes, not slaughtering an entire village. You said you defected after you found out about the attack. Why'd you change your mind? When I joined the Rebels, I thought Regala was going to lead us into battle against our old enemy, the Karja. But all we've done is kill each other. And for what? Pride? Vengeance? So when my squad leader told us about the mission to destroy this village, I left my post. Don't believe his lies. Anyone who deserted the tribe to join Regala knew exactly what they were getting themselves into. Not everyone. If Cavo is telling the truth, this whole village is in danger. We have to find and stop these rebels. The rebels? Built a campfire north of the river, near the cliffs. I can show you the way from there. Okay. Open it up, or okay? No. I won't give him the chance to escape. The traitor stays here until his trial by combat. Then I invoke blood for blood. I will take Cavo's place until he returns. You're making a mistake, Chaplain. The clan needs your guidance, not the lies of this bare-armed boy. The right has been called. Cavo will go with Aloy. Then I'm going to. If the boy speaks truth, you'll need my blade. If he lies, I'll run him through. I must make arrangements here first. Then I'll bring the boy to the meeting place. Fine. I'll see you there.
The campfire that Cavo mentioned should be nearby. What's taking so long? They should be here already. Someone's waiting ahead. Rebels. Friends of Cavo's? I'm going to have to take them out to get to that campfire. waiting to ambush whoever showed up? Cavo has to explain what to do. Better wait at the campfire for him and Oroke. Oh, no room on me. I can send it to my stash. I found a few of your friends when I got here, Cavo. You're not off to a great start. They must have been out on patrol. I swear on the ten, I didn't know they'd be here. What did I tell you? His lies are an open sore. Better we cauterize it now than let it fester. No! I'm telling the truth! Untie him. As you say. But this is a mistake. And my weapon? If you think... Just give it to him, Oroke. Okay? We need to get moving. Lead the way. Up this way. Where are you leading us? The rebels are stationed at the nearby cliff falls. I took this path when I left my post. The others won't be expecting anyone to come this way. Or they are, and will be skewered the moment we arrive. There's the cliff falls. And there's no one there, as I suspected. Let's just keep going. I don't like this. everyone. No rebels, no machine. What did I say? Over there, by the falls.
Fine. What matters is the attack was stopped. Because of your warning. You saved many lives today. Come on. Let's get you back to Falls Edge. I uh, guess. <laughs> I cracked some ribs, too. Go on ahead. I'll see him back to the village. Okay. I'll let Dekka know what happened. Only you return? What happened? Cavo was telling the truth. The rebels had a behemoth. Cavo was injured in the battle, but we stopped the attack. Aroke... Regrets that he doubted the boy. Your grandson proved himself to be honest and brave, Chaplain. He's loyal to the Lowland. So you'll release him? He's earned his freedom. But it'll take many more deeds to earn back the rest of the clan's trust. I'll do whatever it takes. Thank you, Aloy. Indeed. Falls Edge owes you a great debt. May this begin to repay it. Thank you. As soon as you're healed, I have so much to show you. Welcome back, Cavo. I see you, champion. Sit. Please. You shouldn't miss this chance to trade. Grace? I... Definitely don't sound like rebels. Maybe if I follow their tracks, I can find out where they're headed. I can probably use my focus to follow the tracks those riders left behind.
the override data for that machine. I've got to know the settlement. Might want to stop for supplies. I don't need a chaplain telling me. Look, we don't get those hearts, we don't get water, and everyone dies. What's going on? <sighs> I'm going back to the pens. I'll gut those machines myself. So machines did this? An Easterner with hair like blood. The outlander that took down the bulwark. You killed Greta. Regala's champion. He was one of ours. It's Aloy, and I'm not looking for any trouble. Well, maybe I could use some trouble right about now. Out there is a big herd my people harvest. We take the machine's hearts, send them to our capital, get paid with water. It gets harder every year. Killer machines keep showing up to defend the herd. Last one hit us right as we were penning up our prey. Nearly wiped us out. But our quarry is still in the pens, which means if I can get their hearts, we can trade for the water we need. If you go out there alone, you'll probably wind up dead, Draka. I'm not going alone, Chaplain. The great champion killer is coming with me. How about you answer some questions first? You mentioned the capital gives you water. There's no giving. We pay tribute for it with machine parts. Hearts being the most valuable. Every other desert village has some resource to exchange. But the capital of Scalding Spear is the only one with a constant supply of water. Here in dry country, it's the same as holding everyone's lives in their hands. It is the way of the desert. How we've always survived. Yeah. Doesn't sound like you like this commander of yours. Survival in the desert requires a more disciplined approach than that of other clans. That means she really likes her rules and order. But you don't. I just don't like hers. This is insubordination. I must be dehydrated. What can you tell me about this herd? Been there for years. We harvest the parts we need from it. No more, no less. New machines always show up to replace our kills. What about the killer machines you mentioned? They guard the herd. The more we take out, the more arrive. First sawtooths, then ravagers. Now, a sandblasted thunderjaw. Hit us right as we were herding machines into our pens. I had to leave half my hunters behind to fend it off. The only survivors are the ones you see here. I heard him calling you Chaplain. What does that mean? It means I've survived our youth and outlived my brethren in many battles. As such, I counsel the Desert Clan. Those who reach my age are meant to share our wisdom with the young. Keep them on the true warrior's path when their stubbornness kicks up dust and clouds it. <laughs> you knew Regala's champion, Gruda. He was one of ours. So was Regala. Desert Clan's pride and joy. Why is she attacking her own people? She feels betrayed. Regala was a legend among our clan, fearless and unrelenting. A marshal to Hikaru, chief of all Tanakh. His judgment made flesh. What changed? The Karja king asked for peace, and Takaro agreed. Regala wanted payment in kind for the atrocities the Karja committed. A Tanakh empire that would push into the east. So she challenged Takaro's decision. He had no choice but to face her in combat. Takaro won. She should have died by his hand then, but the chief let her live. For Tanakh... That kind of mercy is a bitter drink. Now that she rides machines and murders marshals, we might not be able to ignore her camps in the desert for much longer. No one in the desert clans touching those camps. This is between Regala and Hikaru. If the chief's strong enough to lead, he'll prevail. If he doesn't, he'll make way for one who is. That's a little harsh, isn't it? So is the desert. I'll help you harvest those pen machines if I can. Probably better if you don't do it on your own. Seems like your village needs you right now. 
I like her. An outlander after my own heart. We can leave now, or I can meet you at our outpost southeast of here. I'll go with you. Very well. We leave for the Southeast Canyon. May the Ten protect you, then. I'll await your return and report to the capital. You do that. This way. The sooner we get those machine hearts, the faster we'll get the water we need. Can't believe an outlander would lend us a hand when our own clan won't. And Jataka has the stones to tell me. The commander has good reason to be strict with our water supply. You think she doesn't? I think she's always talking about how scarce water is in the desert. But do you really think anyone in Scalding Spear is dying of thirst? I can or her own squad? No. I bet they dip their hand in the trough whenever they want. Our clan should be led by someone who knows what it's like to scrape by. To fight, tooth and nail, to survive. And I'm guessing that someone is you? I've lived in the fringes of the desert my entire life. I've fought for every single mouthful of water I've ever had. I know I'm a better fighter. And I'm prettier. Uh-huh. I'd make sure everyone gets all the water they need, no matter what village they're from. Didn't Jataka say you guys have too little to go around to begin with? I'm sure I'll be able to fix that somehow. There's always a way. I guess that's a good way to look at things. There it is. Gotta get some more ammo. Follow me. Acid ammo could help you. You'll uh, have to excuse the mess. Our soldiers use this place to prepare themselves before herding machines into the canyon. You're uh, welcome to any supplies you can find. Might need them for the fight ahead. Thanks. There we go. Let's move out. So, what's Anora looking for out in the Forbidden West? He says I'm looking for something. I doubt you traveled all the way out here just for the scenery. I'm trying to fix it. I see. All right, you can keep your secrets. Guess I should just be thankful you decided my problems are worth fixing, too. We're here. I'll help you harvest machine hearts if it'll get water for your people. Oh, we will. That's the canyon we draw machines into. Then we block them in and pick them off. Now, we'll have to climb over the barricade to get in. When we do, be ready to fight. I already lost good people in there. Can't wait to see the champion killer in action. You go and I'll follow.
This will be my stash when I need it. That's all the parts we need. I should take these to Draka. May the wings of the Ten carry you home, my brother. I got the hearts. We should head back to Arrowhand. Yeah. At least now we can bag and tag these soldiers. Oh, hold on. Since you can clearly handle a bunch of angry machines... I want to go back to where the Thunderjaw hit us. I lost a lot more fighters there. I can't just leave them to rot. They deserve to be bagged and tagged, too. Will you come with me? Lead the way. Glad to have you along. <laughs> to think so many have to die just to get water. Did you try talking to your commander at Scalding Spear? <sighs> Please, the only thing she'll listen to is the sound of a bow being drawn. About that, wouldn't mind having yours at my side if it ever came to it. I'm just passing through, Draka. Uh, can't blame me for trying. This is it, where the Thunderjaw ripped through my squad. I'm sorry, Draka. They were warriors to the end. We should get started. Someone's alive, by the rocks. The ground. The ground. Speak sense, soldier. For Earth. Like we got a fight on our hands. I should check on Draka and that soldier. Didn't think I was going to make it. You did good, soldier. You're going back home. 
Thanks to this one. You were the one who refused to leave your people behind. Uh... I know I'm racking up favors here, but, uh... Did you take those hearts back to Arrowhand? We'll be right behind you. Of course. Be careful. With that Thunderjaw heart in hand, we'll get all the water we need. Thank you, Aloy. Returned. Where's Draka? Just a little late, Chaplain. Gained some extra baggage on the way back. She's got the machine hearts, including a Thunder Jaws. You should have seen this flame in the desert. Here. Something to commemorate our heroic victory. A victory indeed. Command will be relieved to hear about this. Get them to the Scalding Spear as soon as you can. And tell the commander how many had to die to get them. Huntress, may I have a word? I heard what you did at the bulwark. They say that in addition to your bow and spear, you have a kind of second sight, especially for matters that have to do with the old ones. That's one way to put it. So it's true. You've done well by my clan but our troubles may not be as easily settled as Draka believes. I think your second sight might be just what we need. What exactly is the problem? Not here. Meet me at Scalding's Spear. I'll explain everything. I'll see you there when I can. Good. The entire clan might depend on it. Outlander. I offer you an honorable trade. But you and me guarding the memorial road? Maybe you can catch us some sight from the arena. sound like rebels. Maybe if I follow their tracks, I can find out where they're headed. I can probably use my compass to follow the tracks those riders left behind. Machine riders from before, the ones who were racing. I don't know what they're up to. Riding machines, huh? Who taught you to do that? Hey, squad! We got someone with a death wish here. Whoa! Look at that hair. 
What? Someone get a little lost in the desert? Hey, hey, what's that thing the Easterners keep saying we do? <laughs> oh, yeah. We all drink blood here, right? Maybe we should drink yours. You can try. Is that a challenge? Pull your blaze, Josek. I don't think you want to test your luck with a soldier that took down the bulwark. We have no business with you, Outlander. I think we all had our fun. The road's right over there. Those machines used to be Regalas. But you don't look like holdouts to me. Who are you? How'd you get these mounts? Around here, you want something, you race for it. You cross that finish line first, I'll answer any questions you have. Aloy, you got a mount? Race is full. Actually, I think a spot just opened up. All right. What are the rules? Don't die. This ought to be good. Shut up, Pekka. This way, fresh meat. Let's get you that mount. I see you carry a bow. Good. You'll need to use it if you want to win. Against the other racers? They will if you don't. We put everything on the line when we get on that track. Makes it worth something. You can test run the track if you want to. Just let me know when you're ready for the real thing. I'm ready when you are. See you on the other side. Bring you down!
prize for winning the race. You earned it. I think you owe me some answers. Name's Atta. As for how we got these mounts, most of us here used to be rebels. Joined Regala's army thinking we'd get a chance to fight in a real war against the Karja. Instead, Regala slaughtered our own in cold blood, barren light. When we made it back to camp, we snuck out on our mounts and never looked back. Been racing the clan lands ever since. Decided we were better off on our own. No rules, no chiefs. Just the speed of our mounts and the taste of blood. Doesn't sound too bad, I guess. Where's your quiet friend? The one with the mask. He didn't join the race. He gave up his spot so you could join. Probably for the best. What makes you say that? That one hasn't lost a single race. Thought you would have gotten your answers if he stuck around. Maybe. You know, Hax found a spot to set up a race at the farthest end of Lowland Territory, right by the beach. Make your way there, maybe there'll be a spot waiting for you. If I'm in the area, I'll think about it. Hey, Lloyd. You here to join the race? I was scouting northwest of here, near the village of Saltbite. There's a place there where the ground is made of metal. Don't know what it means, but it can't be good. Be wary. Appreciate the warning. Ground made of metal? That might be a cauldron. And when there's a cauldron, there's machine overrides. Like this? Oh, uh, you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha. They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. Aloy! Erend, you're all better. And you're here. Well, the world only goes on. If you can do your thing, we learn fast enough, we help make that happen. You want all the backup you can get, right? We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. You should know your Tanakh friend arrived. Katalo. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with one eye open. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Uh... Oh, uh... Okay.
I am pleased you have returned. And I see you have recovered ether. Please proceed with the merge. Afterwards, I have a matter to discuss with you. So, what did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Aluthia frequency. Aluthia? That's one of the subfunctions you couldn't detect before. Yes. The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone, or something else. You don't think it's actually Eleuthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code. A distress signal. A desperate plea for help. Why would Eleuthia send a coded transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection. Or at least to create the appearance of the desire to do so. I am also uncertain why Eleuthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress signal at all. As far as it is aware, I no longer function. Okay, so... Either Eleuthia is in trouble, and sent the message hoping you were out there... ...or someone else is trying to get us to go to these coordinates, pretending to be Eleuthia. That is my conclusion as well. Could the Zeniths be sending the transmission? According to the data I reviewed on your focus... The Zeniths recovered the other Gaia root kernel in the Hades Proving Lab. It is feasible they used it to gain access to my internal frequencies. So... Maybe they sent it thinking you'd respond, and reveal your location. Possibly. However, the transmission is highly irregular. If they intended to provoke me into revealing myself, I would expect the communication to be more routine. Right. So maybe it's not them, then. You said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay, and what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that means? I have queried my available databases, but it does not appear to have any significance. Perhaps its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates. Alright. I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful and- We're coming with you. <sighs> Fine. Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. I was able to... 
to unlock another room in the main living area. Good to know. I'll check it out when I can. Barl looks happy about his training partner. Learning is best done together. Have you gone back to plain song at all? I thought about it, but I wouldn't know what to tell them. The chorus already thinks me a thorn in the thicket. If they knew what we did to Fa, even if they understood, there'd be little they could grasp about all this. No. For now, I must leave the tribe behind. Right. I should probably go. Is it true you're investigating a signal coming from one of Gaia's seedlings? Maybe. We'll know for sure when we check it out. Be careful. We will. Aloy. We've gathered some supplies in that chest. Take what you need. Looks like someone's made this space their own. I see you found Varl and Zoe's room, Aloy. I believe they wanted private accommodation. Looks like this room's changed. Is that your doing, Gaia? Yes. I have repurposed the displays to track the cauldrons you have acquired data from. Oh, Aloy. Your Karja friend came through. She went to that Asaram camp you two were looking for, to the southwest. I think we're all there. <laughs> there she is. You ready to head out? Let's go. Look at us. Three battle-hardened badasses forging into the unknown. This ought to be good. This distress call had to be up a really steep mountain, huh? Takes the keg. Burl, see if there's anything over there? On it. We'll check out the battlefield. Let's start with that zenith. Well, there are obviously more zeniths than we know about. I can't believe you fought one of them. 
Almost didn't make it. Whatever the rebels did, it took down her shield. But why was she here? I can access her last communication file, but I'll use my focus to scan the battlefield too. What about that crazy weapon, the Zenith? Yeah, this frost down to it looked like she can make it come and go at will. What? But it's gone. Hello, Verbena. What do you have for me? Well, go do your thing. I checked everywhere. Still here. no sign of the asset. Can we call off this pointless search already? Let's not forget who let it slip away in the first place. Now, I'd like to see results by nightfall. Do you think you can manage that? Hold on. An room with a focus. I think I see something. Looks like he was sending data on the weapons somewhere else. Ah. Ah. Our weapon's still hot. I need to know how it worked. But I'll have to check on it once it's cooled off. Looks like the rebels camped here for a while. Are they watching this area? The Spectre had instructions to assist recovery of the asset. I wonder what this asset is. What a mess. All right. I think I have an idea what happened here. All right, she who sees the unseen. What did you find out? This was a carefully planned attack. I found camping gear up there. The rebels must have been staking out this place for at least a few days. They were waiting for the Zeniths to show up. All so that they could test that weapon. The Zeniths have a personal shield that makes them invulnerable, but somehow the weapon got rid of it. The Osirum that was operating it was sending data on it somewhere else. I was probably just a prototype. I've known tinkers that do that. I'd do a little trial run before breaking out the real thing. Well, I guess it's still a work in progress, if it blew up. She was searching for something she'd lost. Her drone had instructions to recover something called the Asset. The Asset? Is that the, uh, sub-function thing that you said could be here? The Luthia? I'm not sure. Come on, let's go talk to Varl. It's a long way down. Something tunneled straight down into the mountain. Looks recent. Whatever it was, it must have been powerful. That zenith the rebels killed was looking for something called... the Asset. I don't know what it is, but my guess is it's somewhere down there. All right, so we head down. Erend, stay here and stand watch. That zenith isn't the only one of its kind. I don't want to be caught by surprise if the others show up. Contact us by focus if you see anything. Okay. If any trouble shows up, I'll call you. Let's go.
There's some kind of old world ruin down here. You said the Zeniths have their own backup of Gaia, right? Yeah, from the Proving Lab. So maybe they were after Eleuthia. Found its hiding spot, so it sent the distress signal. Maybe. Looks like some kind of data center. I might be able to access the facility systems from that console. I've never seen a transmitter like this before. Looks like it's self-destructed. seen a research lab. It looks like a lot of data was beam cast from here recently. From that device nearby. So Eleuthi is gone? If it was ever here, then probably. So, exploring another far the Zenith ruin. Still searching for it, the ass At least this one doesn't seem to have giant killer machines. Or anything you can blow up. When I need it. Find anything that might tell us what the asset is? I don't think so.
place is huge. Some kind of storage room, maybe. Maybe the asset is in here somewhere. If it is, somehow the Zenith couldn't find it. Let's look around. So, um... How is Erend taking all of this? Really? Well... Gaia, the Zeniths, the Focus... It's a lot. But when I caught up to him in the dawn and said you needed our help, he dropped everything and turned around. The control console. To access the storage units. Can it tell us if the asset is in one of them? Well, let's find out. and 36 containers in storage. Please enter the container number you'd like to retrieve. 236? Wasn't there a number in the distress signal? You're right. I should check the log. and 36 containers in storage. Please enter the container number. You Skins like ice. Must have cut this from her head. But why? Hello, hello, Lisbeth. Uh, apologies, I don't know what else to call you. Um, my name is Beta. I'm afraid I, I must be brief. I only have a few minutes before my keepers discover I'm missing, and I still need to remove this implant. I had hoped to find shelter with you, but if you're viewing this, I, I may be dead. Be careful when you take on Farsiness. They are ruthless, and they have Aluthia, Artemis, and Apollo now. But at least I don't have the Gaia Colonel to march them with. You must succeed, or this was all for nothing. Good luck, and goodbye. So she's... She's still alive. We need to get her back to... Oh shit, they can fly. Aloy... Aloy, can, can you hear me through this thing? What's going on, Erend? Two of those spectral things just fell out of the sky. One of them is heading down towards you. The other one's waiting up here. We're coming up. Stay in cover until I get there. You got it. Get her to cover in that room. Whatever happens, she stays with us. I'll protect her. I should prepare before the Spectre gets here. I can't let it get through to Varl and the clone.
Here it comes! Things quick. I'm heading up top. Stay down here with the clone for now. Got it. I'll follow once the coast is clear. <laughs> Gotta get back up top and deal with that other specter. I just hope Aaron stays in cover. Tight. I'm almost there. Just hurry. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I gotta get to errand. Errand, I'm here. My job. That's it. Shield down. You got him. Stay put. I'll see what I can do. I swear I'm not drunk, but right now I'm seeing double. Long story, but it'll have to wait. She needs a healer, but we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for then? You two go on ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. If I can figure out how that thing works, maybe the Xenos won't be so invincible after all. I'll find this in my stash later.
I need to get the weapon fragment to Gaia to analyze. If we can replicate it, maybe we'll have a way to defeat the Zenus. I should check on the clone, too. Varl, where's our guest? We're in the maintenance corridor below the control room. Aloy. Okay. Glad you made it back okay. She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. I'll talk to her. Hello? It's, uh... It's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I... don't understand. Sudden removal of a neurologically integrated data device. The brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of sensory freefall. Everything real feels unreal, distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's, it's primitive, but I can make it work. Yeah. Booting up. So, uh, Aloy, I suppose you want information. About you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How did they get you? But let's start at the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago? That seems consistent with their behavior. They wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Okay, so... The descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet, and now they want to claim Earth for themselves? Not their descendants. What? Not their descendants. It, it, it's them. The same ones who left Earth a thousand years ago. You didn't know? How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that... You are... I'm not like them. I was made. On the way to Earth. On the ship. I spent years studying in my training interface. All so that I could serve my function. Access and control of the terraforming system. But why? What do the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Zeniths want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. All right, I think that's enough for now. Do you want to come upstairs, or...? So how long? You know, your, your, your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zenus? How did you know optimal strategy, so? Well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Gaius is powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? You don't have Hephaestus already? Guy is still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single- To a single location, of course not! You didn't even know who the Zeniths really are. You were supposed to be further along by now! Coming here was a mistake. They're gonna find me. They're gonna find this place and take me back. This was all for nothing! They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make?! You're too far behind! We're never going to beat them! Everything! Everyone! They're gonna die! Hey! Calm down. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? I have certain knowledge sets. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Geoengineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. Well... See if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad, but I think she regrets coming here. Feeling might be mutual. Hmm. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything.
I should get the weapon fragment to Gaia. Welcome back. Aloy, I see we have a new guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah, I also recovered this. The weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield, but it malfunctioned and blew up. If we can recreate the weapon and improve it, maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the zenith. A moment, I will scan it. Complete. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced, comparable to Zenith technology, but not how it worked. Did the explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed to purge all data within its core. Ostensibly, this was to prevent the weapon's secrets from falling into enemy hands. Whoever designed this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Silence. Based on your data on him, that is my conclusion as well. And he's not gonna cooperate with us? Well, it was worth a shot. But that's not all. The Zenus got Aluthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. However, our original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Well, I guess I better get back out there. I wish you luck on your search. Right. Thanks, Guy. So I guess we won't be making use of Silent's weapon. And now there is another clone of Elizabeth here with us. But I can't let it distract me. I still have two more subfunctions to get. It's a little loud, Aaron. I know. That makes you want to punch something. Aloy. Hey, I thought I'd uh, check in on how you're doing. You mean after meeting someone who looks exactly like you, but isn't you, down in the basement? Guess this must be even stranger for you than it is for us, huh? A little. <laughs> Varl said she may be able to help us in our mission, though. Maybe. There is something I'd like to discuss. It's about the land gods. If you have time, that is. You said you wanted to talk about the land gods? I think there's a way to heal them so that they'll once again provide plain song with grain. Gaia gave me a set of instructions. She called it, a uh, reboot code. If we deliver it to the land gods, their derangement will end. Well, that's great. It may be. There are thorns on the path. Unless the code is given by Hephaestus, the land gods will reject it. Gaia showed me a way around this. We need components called control cores from machines made by Hephaestus. Machines similar to the land gods. You mean Grimhorns? Like the one we fought in the repair bay? Yes. Gaia helped me locate two of them out west. So, kill the machines, get the control cores, then use them to adapt the reboot code into something the land gods will obey? If all goes well, but taking down two Grimhorns won't be easy. We'll do it together. Bless you, Aloy. I'll send you the location of the machines. I need to get going. May the land bloom in your steps. Aloy, there are more supplies in the chest. Help yourself.
I just think she talks a lot. 